This is serial number 1005, 1948 Tucker. That means it was the fifth produced on the assembly line in Chicago. Beautiful green paint. And this car has the ultimate distinction of being the, the car that was used in the Tucker movie by Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, the Tucker, the man in his dream in 1988. This car was certainly advanced for its age. Uh, it um, was able to convert an aircraft <clears throat> helicopter engine into an automotive type. Went from air cooling to water cooled. Whereas a rear engine rear drive car and had advanced safety features like pop-out windshield and uh, padded dash, four-wheel disc brakes, fully independent suspension. It really was a much safer car than the usual car on the road at the time. Now, most of the cars produced, <clears throat> uh, the 51 cars produced, had manual transmissions. One, I believe, was produced with an automatic, and I don't believe this is the one. The electric hand seemed to be the manual shifter of choice on the on the car. And you can get a glimpse of it here on the right side of the steering column. Notice how the dash is uh, recessed so that it's uh, less likely to um, but be a problem for invo involving in the crash. Beautiful restoration. And here's another distinction. <clears throat> the grandson of uh, Preston Tucker visited this museum and saw this car. And indeed, he saw the stunt double car, too. And here's a photograph of that. So John Tucker was much pleased to see this car and the stunt double, which we'll see at the end of this video. And you'll note in the back of the car, the triple exhaust and the grill work, certainly for help in the cooling process. And here's an illustration behind the car of a Tucker engine. Just in case you wanted to see one that was outside the car. Very powerful engine. Uh, the first engine they tried in the car was so powerful that it, yeah, they, couldn't keep a, they couldn't keep the wheels uh, from flying off or something. It was, it was too much for the car. This was the one they settled on. And it was, as I say, very potent for the time. Six-cylinder, flathead. Um, Six-cylinder, and it was a opposed uh, flat engine, I should say. Flat engine. Just like the Corvair engine was designed. And there's a movie poster there for the film. All right, now we switch gears, and this is on the second floor, and this is the stunt double car that was used in the scene that showed the Tucker running around a racetrack. And to prove the durability of the car, it was uh, flipped, and you can see the obvious damage here. This started out life as a Studebaker, 51 Studebaker, and uh, had cosmetic changes, including that center uh, headlight, the Cyclops eye, and uh, the side treatment looks very, they did a great job uh, made, making it look like a uh, real Tucker. Of course, they didn't want to sacrifice a Tucker since there are only 47 left and two are undergoing restoration besides that, so uh, 49 altogether. So they didn't want to destroy a Tucker, so a Studebaker, uh, Studebaker 
stood in its place. We're going to get some close-up looks inside so you can see what they did to reinforce that top so it didn't collapse on the driver. Really a, a very impressive uh, rollover protection. But from the side, it looks pretty close to the tucker. Now you see all that metal inside. And that cage that surrounds the driver. And there you can see the hint of the Studebaker steering wheel and the automatic transmission. That's amazing there, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to be in this car when it rolled. Wow. So we move around the car and we, there's a supposedly an air vent. Of course, the engine would be up front in this car. They did a good job. I mean, they went all the way around the car on all sides to make it look like the, uh, the original. And in a minute, we'll get to glimpse the tow truck that is hooked up to this. More of that bracing. And now we take a glimpse at this uh, 1933 Chevy tow truck. And uh, an oil dispenser there of the era. Nice truck. Notice the windshield moves outward. Very sporty. So that's the Tucker. I doubt you'll see a more complete um, visual display of a Tucker, especially as it relates to uh, the movie that was made about it. I've seen Tuckers before in various museums, but uh, this is uh, probably the most impressive that I've ever seen. And notice the... Uh, I believe that's the price of gas, 18 cents. 